This curriculum is so easy to teach. It's absolutely worth every dollar. Hello, I wanted to share a little bit about Write Start Math. We started out in the very beginning of our homeschool journey with Singapore. I did Singapore with my oldest. She's now eighth grade. And we did Singapore from kindergarten through fifth grade. We got to a point where there was nowhere to go. <clears throat> we needed to find a new, new curriculum for her. Um, because she had made it almost to the top of Singapore. And I liked Singapore. I thought she was learning pretty well, and um, but needed something different, needed something more that went higher. So we moved to Right Start because they had a geometry that was, it was a two year geometry program and it was geared toward kids um, who weren't in high school. A lot of times geometry is a high school curriculum. So I loved it. So I went to Right Start, I, I found it through a convention. So I got to talk to a lady about it and she explained that even if you hadn't done Right Start in the beginning, it was easy to move into because the beginning of each curriculum teaches you how to use some of the really basic um, tools for right Start. Right Start is very hands-on and it's a very different approach to math. And so uh, I was a little nervous about it. Um, it's abacus based, but not a typical abacus. It's an abacus that's developed by Cotter is the last name. Um, and she developed this particular kind of ab abacus, has two sides. What? Okay, take away 400, one of these, and we can't take away eight of these. Uh-oh, what are you gonna do? Trade one of these for ten of these. That's Wait. right. Go ahead. You have you have two rows. Remember, you can use both both wires. So I'm going to show you two years of the curriculum. I've used almost all of them now, except for one year. Um, so we've been through all of them. I've been through some of them twice. I love this curriculum, and here's why. It is a different approach to math. Um, it is not the way you learned to do math. Um, my husband loves math, he's an engineer. Um, and so I, I knew that any math curriculum I chose had to be passed by him. He had to check it off and be like, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. And so he loved the geometry that we were doing and um, has continued to love the curriculum. And the reason is because it approaches numbers from all sides and so, children really get a grasp of what a number means um, it's they're not just symbols on a page anymore but they actually represent something tangible it's pretty incredible the way they can move numbers around to do basic addition and basic subtraction makes their mental math so fast and it they get there by repetition but not just repetition of the same method they learn how to do several different ways. They learn several different ways to do a subtraction problem to where they can get it done really quick. 3,000, 3,000, and 100. We don't have four. Oh! 20. You only have 20. And three. So what's the answer? How much? The answer is 1,400. 11. So they don't do things like maybe square roots or even multiplication as early maybe as they might in a in a traditional school but what happens is they have such a grasp on numbers and they understand them so well that when they get introduced to those more difficult concepts they understand them more quickly and it doesn't take so much repetition to understand what it is that they're trying to do. So it's pretty incredible. I really love it. Um, a couple of things, these are questions that homeschool moms always ask. How much time does it take? Is it open and go? Is there a lot of hands-on? Are there two, are there tons of manipulatives? Okay. It is open and go in the sense that, um, you have all the manipulatives already. So, um, at the top of each lesson, this is going to be backwards. Um, at the top of each le lesson, there is a list of materials. Sometimes this list is like five or six items long. Sometimes it's really short. Um, so that makes it pretty easy to just go to your manipulative box or whatever you keep them in and just grab those things real quick. And then it very much is open and go. Each lesson, and I'll show you in a minute, um, kind of has a script. Um, and some of the lessons you go through it with your child and some of the lessons uh, you teach the concept and then they do the lesson and then they do the worksheet. So um, each one's kind of different. 
How many ones do you need to make a 10? How many tens do you need to make a hundred? Ten. How many hundreds do you need to make a thousand? Ten. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to get your worksheet now. Go ahead and put the whiteboard away. In general, until you get to le level G, which is geometry, which is about sixth or seventh grade probably is for geometry, um, until you get to that level, it is always um, parent taught. And I believe that math in a lot of ways needs to be parent taught. It needs one-on-one -on -one so kids can ask questions um, or maybe live classes of some sort so kids can ask questions. Um, and so I do have four children. Um, all four of them are obviously doing a different level of math and it, we've just had to schedule it into where they can each have the appropriate amount of time for their particular lesson with me um, to get those done. So it is open and go, but you have to have your box of manipulatives handy so you can just grab what you need. Um, it is kind of an expensive investment up front because manipulatives is a big kit um, and it's worth it. We've used almost everything in that box now. I think there are only a couple things that we haven't used that were for the games. Uh, this particular um, curriculum believes strongly in games, playing math games. And so here is the book of math games. I love this book. You can even use this, just this book, if you don't use the curriculum. It is divided into different sections. You've got number sense, addition, clocks, multiplication, money, subtraction, division, and fractions. And so each of those sections has several different kinds of games to help your child to grasp the concepts that they're learning in their lessons. The games are sometimes meant to be used during a lesson and sometimes meant to be used outside of lessons, kind of as fun time. So let me take a minute and I will show you uh, two levels of the books. This is level B. This is my daughter's in first grade. Um, you see a lot of this in traditional school where you do part and whole sets is how we call it, what we call them here or part whole circles, circle sets. Um, here you'd have the material, you need the abacus, a dry erase board. So it does come with a dry erase board, um, which I love and which is also doubled as a drawing board later on. Um, anyway, it's very straightforward. It's nothing that people haven't really seen before, but it does use the abacus, which is so handy. It really, and you know what? All my kids have loved using the abacus, so that has been really nice. Here are some examples of how the children use the drawing board. What they do is they um, take their worksheet, they tape it, <coughs> they tape it nice and straight on their worksheet, and they, they are taught how to do that with the, with the uh, ruler. Here's one of the very first pages they do and they're just learning how to make straight lines and how to fill in. So they did every other line here and how to um, divide these into fractions. And then here they're learning more about fractions and you know, they're just flipping them or doing, cutting them in half. <coughs> and here they're doing thirds. Um, so he drew all of these lines and all of these lines here. And he, they give you the bottom line and they teach you how to divide a triangle into three different, into thirds in two different ways. He didn't quite finish this one. Anyway, um, the cool thing about this is if you look over here, he started to play with the shapes. He's like, I wonder if I can make them look more 3D. And so he started to do that. And I thought that was pretty fun. So then we made a tent with a campfire because why not? So anyway, I wanted to show that to you with the drawing board. The drawing board is pretty integral and I really, we've really loved it. Who makes errors in math, Eli? Everybody. Everybody. How can we find errors? Um, uh, by making mistakes? I don't know. By looking carefully, right? And just checking our work. This is level E. And level E is uh, fifth or sixth grade. Um, here's a simple lesson teaching them how to do trading with the side two of the abacus. Side two of the abacus just has, um, instead of using them as groups of 10, um, a horizontal way, they use it in the vertical way. Um, so again, you have your materials, all you need is abacus and the worksheet in this case. In this, they are doing traditional subtraction on the abacus where they, um, where you trade. And let's see, worksheet eight. So here's his worksheet for that, where he would just use the abacus to complete the page. Um, then this particular lesson, we just do the lesson together, and then 
he goes off to do the worksheet on his own, which in some of the upper levels of this math, upper meaning upper elementary and into um, junior high, that is how it works. You teach them the lesson and then they do the math page. This is it. So this is the last bit. This is a very, very, very small bit of um, the manipulatives that we use. We use these pretty frequently, um, but we also use a lot of this very frequently. There's a lot in there and I do not say that to intimidate you. Um, it's actually really encouraging. It's very, um, very fun. My kids love playing the math games. They love, they don't always love doing math, but when we start getting manipulatives out, they quickly forget that math is quote hard. We never use that word. Um, but, uh, they, they forget about that and they start to have fun. Um, I've really, really loved Right Start Math. It has truly blessed my family. I um, Math is not something that I have ever loved to do. I graduated with a BA in English education, so opposite end of the spectrum for me. Um, <clears throat> so I math is not my subject. And I, in fact, I felt a lot of anxiety about it because my husband is an engineer and um, it's important to him and it's just important to really, I really want my kids to know math better than me. And I will tell you, this curriculum is so easy to teach. It's absolutely worth every dollar of an investment. And I hope that this video was helpful for you if you are figuring out which curriculum you want to use. Uh, You're silly. Go ahead and write it down. <laughs>